Hey, what's up you guys? This is Sentai22 here with a anime toy review for you. Now today I'll be checking out the Bandai Anime Collector Series set Outlaw Star. Now in this set you get uh, the, the Outlaw Star ship and two figurines. You get Gene Starwind and Malfina. Now besides Outlaw Star, Bandai has released other ones, although I'm not really sure how many. I do know that they did release a Big O mech along with a Roger Smith and Dorothy figure, so that's all I do know about the, the that line. So now for those of you who lived who lived under a rock through 2001 through 2002. Outlaw Stars anime series that aired on Toonami. It's a great anime series. Uh, a lot of a lot of action, a lot of violence, and a lot of sexual uh, references. And of course, there was this one episode that had uh, fan service. Unfortunately, that was edited out on the Toonami airings, and one episode was didn't air on that on the block as well. So yeah. Uh, if you want to see this series, check out the check it out on DVD, or you could just watch it streaming or something. Um, but all in all, it's a great show. I definitely recommend it. Now, the show's premise: uh, you know, they find the ship, and this is like the only ship to go to this place called the Galactic Ley Line, the the place that holds immense treasure, knowledge, and power. Uh, with the help of Melfina. Um, she is a android that uh, interfaces with the ship. She, they go out to these uh, crazy adventures and whatnot. So, all right, now let's check out the sets here. Now, let's first check out the figurines. Here we have Malfina and Jean Starwind. Unfortunately, uh, I wish they could have added the the rest of the cast as well. Uh, Aisha Kataro and Suzuka the. Uh, female assassin as well as uh, Gene Starwin sidekick Jim Hawkins. Let's take a look at Malfina as you can see acting all girly in her pose. I apologize for the dust since it's been there for quite a long time in my shelf. And of course you have uh, we just put her back in her place here in her stand. You have Gene Starwind acting like a badass, as you can see, have his uh, star tattoo right on his shoulder there. Of course, another uh, star tattoo here. Of course, you have his gun here. Of course, it's removable. Uh, you can't hold it on his hand, unfortunately. All right, now for the Outlaw Star ship. A very, very uh, cool representation of the ship on the show, as you can see, very well detailed. So you got the cannons here on the bottom, as well as at the top. So you got these rocket boosters as well. Now the material of the Outlaw Star is pretty pretty much 100% plastic, although on the rocket boosters is pretty much uh, rubber, as well as the, um, the, the 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 spikes here on the rockets, which is a problem since if you, if you try to if you put it like next to a place where it's very hot, it'll kind of bend, or if you uh, place it like you know in a very tight space, and these will just you know. I mean these things move so you have to be very careful put it in a nice uh, place so yeah it's a very awesome ship very nice now on the show uh, the uh, outlaw star has these grapplers well in the toy they have them as well just take them out Get the grapplers here. And there you go. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't come with the weapons that were on the show. But, you know, I guess you have to pay a little bit more money for the weapons as well. So.
final verdict, I definitely recommend this set for those of you who are big Outlaw Star fans. Unfortunately, this is a very hard set to get. I mean, I saw one on Amazon for like 75 bucks, but I don't see one on eBay that much. So if you find one on eBay on a bid, go, go get it. Alright guys, uh, that's about it. Please you guys join me next time for anime reviews, Power Ranger reviews, or any stuff you guys like. This is Sentai22.